If I can build a house, I can build a clothing rack. My eyelashes are cold. Just because things are utilitarian doesn't mean that they have to be ugly. She's already shopping. Look at her. She's shopping. We just went back in, just looked down, and there were two rugs. These would have been stupid expensive at the Rose Bowl. Like, stupid. Hello, guys. Welcome back to the vlog. It has been a very rainy day. It's the same rainy day that you saw last <laughs> vlog, at the end of last vlog. And we're just trying to reorganize our lives. You know, when Romeo and I are both here in Texas and staying with my parents, we're both living out of the one room. I have overflowed into the next guest bedroom as well with all of my thrifted finds. This is how we have been keeping our clothes or organizing our clothes. I just, I can't find anything. And I was thinking about it as we get closer and closer to moving in the cottage. I'm not gonna prioritize building out the closets. So we're not gonna have any place to hang our clothes. So I had every intention on ordering some simple clothing racks for our closets. It dawned on me while I was like, I could go ahead and order a clothing rack and some storage containers now and just move them over to the cottage when we move in. That's exactly what I did. The first thing I ordered, I ordered some things from Amazon. I was just like, I need just things to get delivered and it be done. I ordered some non-slip velvet hangers. They're like cream colored, so I thought that they would be pretty. I ordered 50 of them. I got something in here. I ordered some like storage boxes. They're like little boxes. Look, they're like linen-y colored and they have a lid. Oh, I love these. Look, babe. Oh, wait, that's so nice. Look at that. And so I got this size and I got this size, two of these, because I thought that this would be good for like my sweatpants and just to kind of keep things separate. Two in this color, they were like gray. So I figured it would be easy for uh, Romeo and I to tell our stuff apart. Oh, it's kind of like a lavender gray. It's kind of pretty. And I ordered a bronze clothing rack, but I think it came in this small box, which worries me. <laughs> well, yeah, this is it. It's a lot of pieces. It's a really pretty color. Look at the bronzy color. If I can build a house, I can build a clothing rack. and it's a lot smaller than I thought it was gonna be. Okay, so they for sure sent me the wrong one. It was supposed to be 30, a little over 36 inches wide, and this one's only 28. So this is the smaller one, like less than a dollar difference between the two sizes. And I actually kind of like that size, like that it fits right there. This is what I tell my mom all the time. Just because things are utilitarian doesn't mean that they have to be ugly. I have socks and underwear. Seen you here before. This is a little cute. I just actually got this little, little sweater. Coincidence, I'm sure. I hope you're looking at me now. From the corner of your And I just found my Aritzia pants that I've been looking for for like three weeks. All of this, all of this organization is um, making me very happy. It's giving me life right now. So look at this now. <gasps> So on the rack, I put all of my nice clothes. Clothes that I wear out. I work a lot, but we do go to thrift shops. So I like to look a little cuter. I even got so excited that I steamed pretty much everything. So it was all nice and ready 
for me to wear. And then on the bottom, I'm thinking I'm gonna put both containers here on the bottom, the larger size of all of my pants here, like my denim. And then in this bin, I put all of my sweatpants and then put these two containers on top. So this, I have all of my socks. I have lots, lots of socks because I work in boots. And then in here, I have all of my undies, un under garments. <laughs> And then this cabinet looks much better. My stuff's on the top, Romeo stuff on the bottom. All of my work shirts and thermals and all of my work sweatshirts. And these are the ones that have like paint on them that I just don't care about. My nicer sleep kind of sweatshirts that I like to wear all the time. Literally so much better already. I just feel like I can breathe a little bit. Tomorrow we can clean. Good morning guys. Good morning, guys. Romeo just made us breakfast burritos. Kind of waiting it for it to warm up a little bit. Worked down at the house today, which is exciting. Sriracha is good with everything. Sriracha is good with everything. Why wouldn't sriracha be good with everything? Mm. Breakfast was good. Now we gotta clean and I gotta get ready to go down to the house. And Romeo and I are always looking for ways to limit or eliminate single use plastic in our lives, whether that's filling our hydro flasks with, wa with water to bring down to the house with us or bringing our reusable totes to thrift shopping to the grocery store. And now at home and in the cottage, we'll be using Blue Land cleaning supplies. So big thank you to Blue Land for sponsoring today's video so I can tell you more about them. Unlike traditional cleaning supplies that are sold in single use plastic bottles that you throw away and you buy a whole new container, with Blue Land, all you need is this small tablet that you dissolve in water to clean your home and your hands. All you have to do is fill the forever bottle with warm to hot water and then drop one of these tablets into the water and wait until it completely dissolves and then put the nozzle in. It's ready to use in minutes. You don't need to stir it or shake it. And Blue Land uses no single use plastic in any component of their products from bottles and tablets to shipping. And their cleaning products are effective and safe to use. So they're free from ammonia and chlorine, and VOC, no parabens, and they're EPA certified. So I got the Blue Land Clean Essential and Hand Soap Duo Kit, which comes with four forever bottles and four tablets. So one for each bottle. All you have to do is click the link in my description box below to get 20% off your first kit. And they now ship to the US, Canada, UK, Australia, and New Zealand. Let's clean. I never know what to do with all of my stuff that I like to keep on the counter when I clean, so I usually just open a drawer and put it on. I don't know what, I mean, what else am I gonna do with it? I'm gonna take it right back out, but I gotta get it off the cabinet to clean. Let me know in the comments what you guys use as a like towel or washcloth. I always use just a washcloth that then I can just throw in the washer and reuse instead of paper towels. Um, but what do you use for glass? I feel like paper, to paper towels or newspaper is like the best for glass. It, let me know if you guys have like a favorite product that I can use with my Blue Land stuff and just like to clean for everyday use. That's also not like super wasteful, you know? Oh, and it smells good. If I ask you Don't hold back on me Only better If you set it free In a new light We can see everything clear Are we really happy here? There's a shadow Rising on the are cold <laughs> we're in the bathroom because it's all insulated and the windows are all in and everything and we have a heater underneath the table so that I could do some glass it's cold it's like uh well 
to some people this isn't cold yeah it's like 30 degrees 30 yeah that's cold to some people to this isn't cold but we don't acclimate well because california and texas doesn't really get cold weather yeah. like this cold in la is like 60 yeah it's the temperature stays the same so you don't acclimate so we're working on windows. I've got to get the rest of this. We picked up some more glass. I don't know how I miscalculated the last time. I don't know if I miss... I don't know what I did. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how it happened. Oh, but we needed a few more pieces. So I uh, picked them up. We picked them up a couple days ago. Like boards? One that way, one that way. So it doesn't escape. Uh, it like hits both of us. I don't know if you have any. Oh, you guys. I'm frozen. My fingers won't work. We can't do it anymore. It's just too, it's just too cold. We even have a heater in there. Ah, oh, it's Betty. It's so deceiving because the sun is out. Yeah. My face is frozen. My fingers are frozen. Got some window. I got four panes of glass in though. <laughs> Good morning. It's the next day. Mom goes, I want to take you guys to breakfast. And also I have to go pick up some stuff that I pre-bought from an estate sale. I told her I have to work today, so we're just gonna be gone for a little bit. You know, you gotta be self-disciplined when you work for yourself. Oh, it's so cold and icy and everything. My mom also bought an iron baby bed that I, uh, Romeo and I need to help my dad put into the truck. So we're gonna kind of have an adventure and then come back and work. Always donate. Oh, mom always brings one thing to donate and 10 things to buy. Oh, it's cold. We made it to the estate sale. Mom's going to sign the paper. It looks like there's at least one name on there, but I don't see anyone. Oh, she's already shopping. Look at her. She's shopping. <laughs> <laughs> no one's lining up. Well, they said since she pre-bought, pre, pre, they pre-auctioned some things. I didn't see really anything on the in the pictures, but they pre-auctioned or auctioned some pieces off. If you saw something in the pictures you liked, you could just go ahead and get them and then you could come first on the first day and just come and pick it up and then walk through and buy the others. I don't know. I don't, I don't know how it works. Today's the first day, right? Today's, yeah. Mm -hmm. What time does it originally start? 10, but it's Perfect. only 9. I know. There's no one here. You didn't see anything? I didn't see anything in the pictures. No. We made it to Bear hey, Moon Siri. Cafe. Uh oh. In navigation. Sorry. Oh, will she do it? Sorry, we don't seem to be navigating anywhere. <laughs> 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 uh, most conversations with Siri are just hilarious. Oh, look at the little cute little chairs. No. No, I mean like this. Is yeah, this is Bernie. is freezing and trees start to blow and i don't want to be sitting alone in a room that just filled with my soul and so i came to this place i'm looking for a familiar face and that's when i saw you that was a cute little place mama that? Yeah, but I spent the whole time trying to figure out today's wordle. Oh, no. <laughs> I just put table in, so I know I have three letters. So you have T, A, and L. L, but not, so I yeah, thought metal, mean? but I, no, you can't give me a hint. Oh. No hints. E is not in the word, so it's not metal. I think it's a hard word. It's appearing to be a hard word. Oh, there's people here now. A wordle will have to wait. Do a haul because if it gets bagged up, it gets mixed with all her <laughs> stuff. Look at these. Look how precious the ballerina set. They were $12 a piece, but look how pretty. You know, like, I feel like 
These are definitely for the pop-up shop. They're beautiful as is. Like I won't even take what's in the frames out of the frames. They definitely have something here. Ballet interpretation by Sophie. Alt Geo. Oh, they're both different. Arabesque. It's like positions. So pretty, right? So we're saving those for the pop-up shop. I also got this for the pop-up shop because I have like some collections of this blue kind of like dustier gray and blue. I like this combination better than the pure white and blue. Um, so when I see it, I kind of like add to the collection. So this one was $10. Nice little picture for the pop-up shop. And I got some book. I went through the bookshelves, got some books. This one's definitely for me. Shakespeare poems. Look how precious that, look how pretty. Look how pretty. I love finding poetry books. Got that one. Oh, we got more mama stuff. <laughs> I got this book for my brother because it looks very medieval and he's very into pirates, things. I don't even, I didn't even have time to look it up. Collected works of Guy de Maspont. Maus, Maupassant. It's very medieval. I don't know. Maybe he'll know. <laughs> I thought it would be cool for his like, I don't know, he likes stuff like that. Got that. All of these were three dollars. The hardbacks. I got this green one, another kind of tealy green one, and another green one. I was on a green kick. Look how pretty though. Very into like this like different colors or different hues in the same color look right now. I think that that's like a trend or something. So I got those. I also got this really pretty blanket. My mom got the other color. Um, look how pretty. Really pretty. The other one's pretty too. It's more green for 25. And I got this one for me. I want to clean it up. It's so soft, like crazy soft. And I thought the tassels were pretty too. So this one was 25. No, no, no. This one was 18. It's not, it's cotton, 100%, 60% cotton, 35% acrylic, 5% polyester. That's all I got. I'm going to go back in and look again though, because um, mom's looking. Just got to put all this in there. Let's see what we, what we missed. Mom also got a mixer. She's been on the hunt for a mixer. Oh my gosh, wait guys. We just went back in and I just looked down and there were two, two rugs. Look at this. They're like turquoise and pink. Look how cool these are. Two of them. They were only 85 bucks. been stupid expensive at the Rose Bowl. Like, stupid. I love that for us. Grass, state sales, man. You buy the best stuff. This pop-up shop is gonna be amazing. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. It never been used. Never, never. She's so excited. She got a art $12 for a humongous art. Acrylics, oils, But are pastels. they good quality or is it just like a kit? Like a random kit, or is it like you don't know? Doesn't matter. Does it matter? No, I, I can play with it. Yeah. Okay, I'll check that one more time. Mom found it. It was on a random little skinny wall. It was six bucks. Let me see what it looks like. They clearly like. painted it. Oh, it's called Le Progresso. The Progresso? Le, Let me see it. Le Progresso. It was painted in 1972. Wow, look how cute. It was, I had a green theme today. I got some green books that all have all these colors. And then I got this little piece of art and then I got the little ballerina pictures. You got ballerina pictures? I did. Look, there's junk on the side of the street right there. Do you want to go see? Yeah. <laughs> I can turn around right here. Okay. Really? Yeah, I do, I do actually. A little work table. No. An iron bench. Came, we saw, we conquered the junk. Never mind. That was exciting. You can't ever go with the pictures. Don't judge the pictures or don't judge the book by the cover or something because like literally 
we always tend to find things that were not in the pictures that we value. You know, we look at different stuff. So it's always worth going. I almost told my mom this morning too. I was like, no, I really want to just get started on working. We won't go. She's like, I'll take you to breakfast. I was like, okay. <laughs> but it's night. It's before noon anyway. So we got back in plenty of time. Hey, baby. I am going to change process what I'm gonna be working on today, do some filming, do some things. It's a little bit prettier today. Um, it's not quite as cold as it was yesterday, so hopefully it'll be a little easier on us. Um, and then yeah, go from there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys again on Thursday for another vlog and then another renovation video. And I'm hoping we have sheetrock. We do have sheetrock physically. It's just not up on the walls. Hey, little girl. Kinsley. Hi. What you doing? <laughs>